Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm diving into the science behind protein sparing modified fast, or short PSMF. But first, let me show you a personal story. When I go out for dinner, especially to an Italian restaurant, the aroma of pizza and the side of bread with butter tempts me beyond control. One evening, after being disciplined with my diet all week, I promised myself a small piece at the restaurant. But as the evening progressed, I lost uh -oh. count of the slices of pizza I consumed. There, there was the chocolate ice cream for dessert. Later that night, as I lay down in bed, I felt so bloated and defeated, I just had let a week worth of discipline crumble in just one meal. Thinking about my daily calorie intake, regretting my choices and reflecting on my weight loss goal. But I found a way to combat this with a modified version of PSMF. It's helped me control my hunger and lose weight without constantly battling hunger. In this video, I'm going to tell you more about the science behind the protein spare modified fast and how it helped me to even control myself during a night out. This diet has gained a lot of attention lately for its rapid weight loss effects while sparing lean muscle mass at the same time. What happens inside your body during a PSMF diet? Let's find out. I'm going to tell you about a metabolic shift, the process of lipolysis and ketosis. I'm going to discuss the protein sparing and thermogenic effects and how hormones play a role. And in the end, I'm going to tell you how the PSMF diet plays a role in regulating your blood sugar levels. Now, let's talk science, the metabolic shift. When you're on a PSMF diet, your body undergoes a significant metabolic shift. Normally, your body uses carbohydrates as its primary energy source. However, when you restrict carbs, your body has to look somewhere else for fuel and it turns into your fat reserves for energy. When your body is burning this body fat, it leads to lipolysis. Lipolysis is the process where stored fat is broken down into fatty acids. These fatty acids are then transformed into ketones. Ketones can serve as an alternative energy source for the brain and the body. You might be wondering, what about muscle loss? Here comes the protein sparing effects. This is the whole beauty aspect of it. A high protein intake ensures that your body doesn't break down muscle for energy. Instead, it focuses on fat stores, thus sparing your muscles and muscle tissue, which is so important to maintain during all times, because your muscles act like a buffer for glucose. Your muscles suck up all the glucose that you eat and helps you maintain a regular blood sugar level. Muscles also help you maintain a high metabolism, so you can eat and burn more calories with more muscle, even in rest, even when you're doing nothing. Another advantage of protein is that it has a higher thermogenic effect, meaning that protein requires more energy to digest, absorb and process compared to fats and carbs. This increases the overall energy expenditure and even your hormones change in a positive way. Hormones like insulin and glucagon also play a role. Lower insulin levels promote fat breakdown while higher glucagon levels stimulate the liver to produce glucose from other sources like amino acids, further sparing muscle tissue. Like muscles are important for blood sugar regulation, stable blood sugar levels are another advantage of PC meth. When you're not consuming many carbs, there are no spikes and crashes in your blood sugar levels. This not only helps with satiety, but, but also ensures that your body continues to use fat fuel instead of switching back to carbohydrates. And eating so much protein also makes that the carbs and fats are slowly digested. So this promotes an even stabler blood sugar levels. Now, I'm going to tell you how my modified version of protein spare modified fast helps me on a night out. This is quite a mouthful. <laughs> I just make sure that before going out for dinner, I'm in ketosis. So I start yeah, being not that hungry. I do this by fasting through the night, which you do in your sleep, and by eating around two meals on that day, consisting of 25 grams of fats, 50 grams of protein, and as low carbs as possible. That just looked like 
maybe an avocado with some meat or egg whites. My maximum carbohydrate intake of 50 grams. So I can indulge on an almost infinite amount of steak and veggies and be stuffed by the time dinner comes and go to bed with a satisfied feeling of the day. So I total around 200 to 250 grams of protein a day and a maximum of 80 to 100 grams of fat and very low carbs around, yeah, 20 to 50 grams a day. I hope you can implement this too and that it will help you yeah, keep more control when you go on a night out or just in general. Multiple studies have shown effectiveness of PCMF and rapid weight loss and improving metabolic health. It's important to know that PCMF is generally not a long-term solution. It's often used as a short period to kickstart weight loss or prepare for a medical procedure. Always consult with a healthcare professional before starting a real and not modified strict PCMF diet. So there you have it. This is the science why PCMF is so effective for rapid weight loss and maintaining muscle. I hope this video helps you understand the mechanisms that make this diet work. If you're interested, watch my other videos about a protein sparing modified fast. If you have any other questions or if you want to share your PCMF journey, feel free to comment down below. And you would really help me to make more of this content if you subscribe. Next I'm going to make a video about what to eat on a protein spare modified fast. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.